SciSpeed Reviews wants to know. What's your Star Wars story? Welcome to SciSpeed Reviews, and on this channel I do weekly Funko Pop reviews, Black Series toy reviews, Black Series helmet reviews, and anything Star Wars related I can get my hands on. So this is a new Q&A segment I started on this channel called What's Your Star Wars Story? I figure everyone's got a Star Wars story they want to share. So I got my first guest ever on the show. We have Tony from Star Wars Sits Channel. Hey, Thank what's you, Tony, up? For being on the show. Thank you for having me, man. I'm excited to be here. Super excited. Thanks, Tony. So this, like I said, this is a new segment. I kind of have some big plans for this uh, segment. So tell us about your channel, Tony. All right, so I run the channel Star Wars Sith, where I cover a little bit of everything Star Wars. So I originally started it to cover Star Wars Celebration, which is a great convention that I love to go to. Right. And a lot of Star Wars fans don't really know about it. So I kind of made my channel to kind of show everybody what it is, how it works, and how great it is. So it started from there, and then I kind of cover Funko, Black Series, Hot Toys, Toy Hunts, reaction videos. So anything and everything Star Wars. Awesome, awesome. Keep up with your videos. Got yes. some great content. Thank so, you. So you do have a merch store, am I correct? Yes, yep. So I have a Star Wars Sith merch store. It's through Teespring. So the link for it will be like in, in all my videos, on my page and all that good stuff. So have a little bit of everything. T-shirts, hoodies, hats, stickers, you know, a little bit of everything Star Wars related. Awesome, awesome. I'll leave a link down to that merch store. Thank and, you. And um, so I know you collect pins especially for the celebration. So yes. approximately how many pins do you have? Oh, it's an unhealthy amount. I have probably like, so I have backpacks like this that I put the pins on. Yeah. So I just bought this one. This is a new one, but I have five of them that are completely full of pins. So it's got to be like over a hundred pins. And I mean, a lot of them are Star Wars. I do have a lot of pins because, like, when I travel, I like to get pins from the places that I go to put on my bag, too. But, like, three of the bat, Well, yeah, three out of the five bags are all Star Wars bags full of pins. So, it's a lot, man. It's, it's yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. And I noticed you just uh, got some recently also to add to that collection. Yeah, so I just got the brand new uh, Europe logo pin. Nice. So, it's already on the bag right there. That's the first one. So I'm definitely going to add a lot more. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Yes. So, Tony, quick question. So how was your flight in? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. But I do know you have a uh, flight coming up pretty soon. You're heading to where? London? Yeah, so I am heading to London, England in two weeks for Star Wars Celebration Europe, which is in London at the Excel Center. So super excited um i'll be there for all four days and i'll be covering everything sweet sweet i'll be looking forward to your live streams and everything you, you're covering yes so what are you looking forward to most at star wars celebration london honestly meeting the fans in europe because like i've been to three celebrations here in america so it's going to be very cool and unique to see how it is in another country yeah. and since it's in Europe, there's people coming from all over. I've been talking to people from Spain, from Ireland, from Scotland, from Germany, from Italy. So it's going to be, you know, a, a real like like the United Nation of Star yeah. Wars fans in there, which is going to be cool just to see what they like, what they don't like. So that's what I'm excited for the most is just meeting all those fans out there. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And then you actually speak to people that talk on your live streams and stuff yeah yeah a lot of them yeah so I'll, I'll probably run into them out there which will be very cool like hey like you're always on my my chat on the live stream it's awesome to meet you like yeah, yeah actually put yeah. a face to the name yeah all right tony so i got two easy questions for you to get things started first question is which is your favorite star wars trilogy oh you have so three to pick from so this is a good one and it, it's changed over the years so for the longest, it was the original trilogy because that's what started it all. Yep. That's what I saw growing up. But lately, I would say it's it's it, it's still tough to say, but I'm I, I think I lean a little bit more towards the prequels now, just because like what Filoni did with Clone Wars and like those seven seasons of Clone Wars, yep. adding more like depth to it. Yeah, it, it it's kind of like I lean towards that. So it's very very close. But like my mood right now is prequels especially because i'm about to be meeting hayden and hewan very very soon so yes, prequels yes, yes. yeah 
Yeah, it's a good choice, Tony. Yeah. All right. So, question number two: Who is your most favorite Star Wars character and your least favorite Star Wars character, and why? Okay, so Darth Maul, number one. Always say Darth Maul, very consistent. Now, sometimes it's between Maul, Anakin, and Boba Fett, right? But mm -hmm. but Maul's consistently at the top. And it's just from back in 99, seeing that trailer from The Phantom Menace, I was like 14, 15 back then, yeah. seeing that trailer, seeing how cool he looked, when, and then when the dual saber lit up, it just blew my mind because there was like barely any internet back then. So that was not something you really saw. Yeah. So that's why he's my number one. It's because of that and then everything that Filoni did with him in Clone Wars, it just like... He's got such a deep story, yeah. man. Just layering so much more onto the character. You know, we we only got him for a couple of minutes on the movie. I know. On the Phantom Menace. And so to layer the character up, you know, give us so much backstory to him. Pretty impressive. I love his story. Yeah. And um, so which one is your least favorite Star Wars character? So easy. And it, it's Reva. 100% Reva. So I'll tell you why. And it's not nothing against her or the character. It's the placement of her because her being in the kenobi show it took so much away from hayden and hugh and like everyone that's watching that show is og prequel fans and all yeah. they wanted was them not her so that's what kind of irritated most people about her now say if you were to take her out and put her in something else her story is kind of dope like yeah. i mean she survived order 66 she became an inquisitor to get revenge on the jedi that sounds dope in itself but like the fact that she survived vader stabbing her twice with the saber exactly and she knew luke was was anakin's son like it just grinds my gears like i'm not okay nobody with that. else was supposed to know that yeah it, it, it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense and she survives like it just doesn't make twice. sense so that's my least favorite and it's be just because of her the timing and placement if she would have been say in another show and that wasn't her story it would have been awesome like if she would have been in andor I would have loved her and i probably would have liked Endor a lot more yeah make it as a show centered around inquisitors exactly yeah not on the show for anakin and obi-wan exactly yeah yeah so now down to the question while we're all here what's, what's your, your star, star wars, wars story? story what's your star wars story any special moment you fell in love with star wars uh uh maybe maybe somebody introduced you to star wars maybe it was a toy that you had when you were a kid that that brought you to the you know star wars table all right so my star wars story it started with this now this isn't the original box set that my dad had but i think it, it it was the same one so i bought this recently but i grew up on this the early 90s the vhs trilogy so my dad had this and this is how i started star wars just watching it on vhs right here this box set yes and it really was just with this movie right here is what started it all watching a new hope over and over as a kid putting in the vcr hitting that rewind and waiting so i grew up in the the early 90s watching this on vhs and i i freaking loved it it's just something about the story it just was so cool with the lightsabers and the x-wings and the tie fighters and the force and vader it just hooked me it just hooked me right away so this trilogy i watched religiously during the 90s and then in 99 when the phantom menace come out being able to see it in the theaters i was just blown away and like we had to wait three years between movies like nowadays we're spoiled like we get two two to three shows a year yeah. one point a movie every year but back then 99 amazing 2002 attack of the clones whoo and then 2005, Revenge of the Sith, I just was just just hooked right away. That that's what it was. It was just seeing it, and like it just always reminded me of just like my father and watching it with him back in the day, and then my my brothers as they got older. So, yeah, there's something special about the original trilogies. It's like it, it, I'm in love with this original trilogies myself. That's that's the one I grew up you know watching, and yeah, yeah I totally feel feel what you're talking about, Tony. Yeah, that's that's awesome. And to actually have the VHS, that's yeah. That's cool. I bought this bad boy off eBay. It was like twenty bucks shipped because nobody wants a VHS, and like it's in good condition for yeah. being super old. So like this is just nostalgia, like memory, like my childhood, like yep, right, right here there. in my hand for twenty bucks. Like it's priceless to me. 
Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. That's yeah, pretty, pretty cool, Tony. Yeah. And, uh, thanks, Tony, for for sharing your your story with us. Of course. Uh, yeah. Also, um, quick question before we start closing things out. Congratulations on monetization. Thank you. Thank getting, you. Getting that one one thousand subscriber and four thousand watch hours in yeah. less than a year. Congratulations. Appreciate that. So what's your number one tip for getting monetized? It's just consistency and not giving up because like everyone's journey is different. And I watched a million videos where I saw some people got monetized in a couple months, yep. some in a year, some in two years, some in five years. I got lucky and it was eight months exactly. But like, you know, everyone's journey is different. But the biggest thing I learned is just being consistent and, and having like a schedule and a routine, whether you upload once a week the same day two times three times like whatever you can afford to do with your time just keep it consistent and stick to it is what i learned and like it it just paid off like it's crazy but it paid off yeah you heard it first here from tony yes. yeah he's got some good awesome tips on his channel check out his celebrations he's getting everybody prepped for star wars celebration london yes got some amazing stuff in there you know his reviews are, are amazing thank you, you. Know, he, yeah so Check out his channel. Hit that subscribe button. I'm going to leave a link down below to his channel. Also, uh, so remind us one more time. Where can we find you? So Star Wars Sith on Instagram. Star Wars Sith on YouTube. So on YouTube, if you search it, at the, I believe it's at Star Wars Sith 66. That way it'll pop up. Because if you search Star Wars Sith on YouTube, you're going to get tons of like Sith lore videos. Yeah. And then I'm also on TikTok twitter pretty much the same handle so if you find my ig or my youtube there's a link to my link tree that has all those links on it awesome awesome okay before we leave what you got to show us to bring something for uh for showing purposes so so one was this bag is new and the celebration pin so i kind of show that already the other thing because i've been kind of behaving this month which is very rare but it's because i'm going to london in two yeah, weeks exactly. so i can't i can't splurge but I did grab this book off Amazon, The Dark Disciple, which is the Asajj Ventress and Quinlan Voss oh, yes. love story. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm looking forward to reading this on that long flight to London. I'll probably crack this bad boy open. But I've heard nothing but good things. And I believe it's based on some Clone Wars episodes that were never created. Yeah. So should be a solid read. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I we were in a chat group. We were talking talking about that. That was pretty, pretty yeah. interesting book. Something I want sure. to pick up. Yeah. All right. So let me uh, show you guys what I picked up today. Actually, it was yesterday. This came in from Australia. Ooh. Yeah. So let me uh, crack the seal on this thing. I'm honored to be here for this unboxing. <laughs> I'm so jealous. Oh, unavailable just yet in the United States. This is Power of the Galaxy Ahsoka in white. Yeah, so this is uh, this is pretty epic, and I'm glad I got this one. And I think yes. you guys were the uh, the ones that got me wanting to get this one. The little chat group we have, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so it looks like pretty much everybody's got theirs, and you still haven't gotten yours yet. Am I correct? Yeah, May 3rd. I, I think I'm the it. only one in the group that hasn't gotten it yet. <laughs> You'll get it. You'll get it, man. Yeah. Thanks, Tony, for hanging out with me today, sharing your Star Wars story with us. And uh, hit that subscribe button to this channel. Also, subscribe to this channel if you're new to this channel. And I do weekly Funko Pop reviews, Black Series toy reviews, Black Series home reviews, and anything Star Wars related I get my hands on. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.